this is a little bit too superstitious for my blood okay but anyway if you are new to my channel my name is Ohima welcome if you are a returning subscriber hey! oh my god I haven't seen you guys in so long I actually haven't been in my studio in so long guys like I don't know if it's creator block or what it is like I something has got a hold of me and it's put me in this depressive state I hate hate being in it i just i don't like it here i do not like it here but i'm in the studio right now okay and this is actually a product that i saw on trend moods page the shade range was really intense and really deep and i thought oh my god so i made a comment and if i'm gonna say within that same week i got a package from the brand and i was like oh my god i'm excited to try it until i actually saw the name of the brand and some of the names of the product that has had me just sit here looking at the product like i don't know what i want to do with it okay so before i use the product let me just say okay i know that brands have to set themselves apart especially when it comes to makeup brands because the market as they say is saturated and i know that a lot of brands want to you know separate themselves from everybody the name of the brand is called ritual de fee not ritual de feel so ritual de fee is a new vision for beauty inspired by the magical side of ritual ingredients where pigment is elemental ceremonial and powerful okay every ritual de fee product is created for intuitive uninhibited creativity they focus on colors that can be worn on every part of the face applied with fingertips or your favorite brushes or whatever whatever you can build it up you can share it out it is a french brand created by three sisters three sisters thorn virtual yeah all of that okay i listen i'm african and when i see something that's going a little bit south i'm like uh, th this is a little bit too superstitious for my blood okay but anyway i'm gonna link the article to an interview they did down below so you can check it out just in case you want to support the brand so that you know the origin of the brand before you buy into it if you are somebody who is very religious and you just hear some of these names and you think okay i don't know what to do with this like just so you know so ritual sent over a few products for us to try i will be swatching these for you and i'll also be using it in a routine i will try to tag the products that i use out on my base right here so definitely click that view products tag i will also link it down below in the description box just in case this link doesn't work both links are affiliate so when you click on them and you buy you're going to be supporting my channel listen if you don't want to buy anything and you're thinking hmm oh my you're doing such a good job you can definitely scroll down there and you can send me a, a little thanks you know a little thank you now like a little <laughs> let's jump into it just so we can see what we see okay okay so first we have their foundation and the foundation is called the three drop weightless serum foundations first things first i love serum foundations i feel like if it's done right and if the pigmentation is there you literally only need a little bit and it works really really well it blends into the skin and it looks very very nice I don't know what this one looks like though, but on the website it says that the three drop weightless serum foundation works like magic for a truly transformative yet utterly natural effect. This innovative formula smooths and unifies the complexion yet is weightless and intuitive easy to apply as serum it has remarkable medium coverage formula that imparts soft diffuse subtly luminous finish and the first pure phytonine ever extracted where was it extracted from <laughs> and this ingredient offers both remarkable short-term long-term benefits let me go find out what phytonine is and where it comes from okay phytonine is a symmetric molecule containing three conjugated double bonds um it's found in a number of human tissues including liver lung breast prostate colon and skin accumulation of these carotenoids in the skin may protect the skin by several mechanisms acting as a uv absorber or as antioxidants or as an anti-inflammatory agent okay so it sounds 
and looks like phytonine is actually a really good product to have in the foundation it's fragrance free and it's made without any essential oils we have the three deepest shades here to try out so we have 215 200 and 205 on the box it looks almost, it looks black on the box so i thought it was going to be black but it's not when you open the packaging this is what it looks like and then when you open the top, it has a little squeezy top bottle thing over there. And you just turn it upside down. Oh, very fluid. Okay, you turn it upside down and you squeeze it out. Let's start with 215. 215 is a very deep shade with rich blue undertones. Ooh. Okay, Ritual Diffie. 215 was deep. 210. Oh, I don't have 210. 205 is very deep for neutral undertones. 205 is my shade. Okay, 205 just kind of like disappeared on the skin. It's looking really nice. Look at my fingers. And 200 is for deep neutral shade. Okay, 200 is definitely light. I could probably use 200 as a concealer shade and then use 205, 205 as my foundation shade. And 215 is that deep deep shade now mind you there is another shade between these two okay i'm i'm excited about it another product that they sent over is thorn oil and thorn milk thorn oil is a priming facial elixir this extraordinary oil appears blood red in the bottle soft blush in the topper and entirely colors on the skin as a makeup priming oil it creates the perfect base for full face application of any of their products look at it it looks like blue <laughs> has two metal balls in there that i'm sure you're supposed to use to shake it up so let's shake it up and see the true color of it it's turning red it didn't look like this in the beginning but now it looks like blood so we're gonna try it out i'm interested in seeing whether or not it's truly colorless on the skin like even on my even in my fingers it doesn't have color it has very little color to it it definitely has a scent to it so if you're somebody who doesn't like fragrance in your products you might not want to use this i thought it was going to look oily like this because of what it feels like like i'm interested in seeing what my base is going to look like after i do a full face okay you guys i am going to go in with the shade 205 i don't have high hopes for my base right now because of the oil that i put on first i don't know what it's going to look like later okay but let's see it says three drops so Ooh, we're gonna do three drops on this side of the face and wow it just disappeared into the skin honey this is definitely a product that you can use a little bit of or a lot of it matches the deeper parts of my skin it's looking really good i'm a excited for this i like what it looks like it's weightless i really don't feel anything except i can see that my skin is still looking very radiant very much like how my natural skin will look anyway you really don't need a lot with this product this product really is a three drop foundation like i am gonna use the same foundation as my concealer only because i didn't get a concealer from this brand okay so i'm using the shade 200 as my concealer and i'm gonna use an old morphe brush to blend it in what i'm gonna do is put all i know is if you if you're somebody who has dry skin and certain products like really alarm you this product will do you just this if you have normal skin i think this will work well for you but for me and my oily skin this is freaking me out just a little bit if you're gonna use it i would suggest putting it on the back of your hand and then you know applying it to your face as you see fit I'm going back in with the brush that we used to apply the product and just blend out the edges of this. This is what the skin is looking like. My face is really, really glowy right now, okay? Okay, I'm going to take the very deep translucent powder and I'll use that to set the rest of my face. I mean, the setting powder is a little bit on the red side it's it definitely made my my base a little more red than it actually was in the beginning but this foundation definitely needs to be set i should have learned when i read the description and used the pore eclipse primer as my primer because i think that would have had my face a little bit more on the matte side 
compared to what it looks like right now. This is what it looks like without the powder over it. It is very, very glowy. Oh my goodness. I'm going with the Omolewa Eye Face Palette. And I used the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix, which I think is a radiant setting spray. Mm, my skin is looking really nice. I'm going in with the Poreclip Setting Spray because it has powder in there and it's gonna make my face matte again. So this is my finished look using this Which Well Defeal. Listen, if you have oily skin and you're gonna be using this product, okay? If you have oily skin and you will be using these products, my first advice is to go ahead and use the Pore Eclipse Mattifying Primer or the Danessa Myrick Yummy Skin Balm or the um, One Size Secure the Blur Primer along with the Sweat Proof Primer. Like if you have anything that sucks the oil out of all your face, go ahead and use that. That being said, my skin is looking very, very gorgeous, very skin-like. Everything I put on top of this base, it held it, it held onto it, stayed in place. My only regret is that I put too much of that powder that I was trying out on. I feel like that changed the tone of the makeup itself. I will definitely try this foundation again. I will check to see if they have a matte foundation on their site. I'm also very excited at the simple fact that they have deeper shades that if you're darker than me, you're gonna be able to use. What I wanna know is whether or not you have tried Ritual Defeat. If you have, let me know down below in the comments what products you use, how you like to use it. Also, let me know what type of skin you have. Oily, dry, normal, natural. That way we can all get an idea of exactly who is using Ritual Defeat because I feel like a lot of oily skin people will see this video and think, oh no, I don't want to use this. But I think you could definitely use it if you prep your skin with mattifying products instead of the oily products that I used, okay? Let me know down below in the comments if this video helped you decide on whether or not to try Ritual Defeat. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love you lots and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!